Now let's get some analysis on the latest situation in Tunisia. Sarah Leo Whitson, an executive director at Democracy for the Arab World Now Group, joins us now live from Istanbul. Sarah, thank you very much for joining us here on TRT World. Let me begin by asking you, what does the sacking of the prime minister, suspension of the parliament and uh, this nighttime curfew mean for the future of the political landscape of Tunisia? Well, it means there is an attempted coup that is underway um, that is being led by the president and backed by the military. Um, it has also been accompanied by uh, uh, closure and attack on Al Jazeera Arabic's uh, studio and station, as well as a military assault uh, on radio and television stations uh, inside Tunisia. Uh, obviously, this has all of the uh, classic uh, checks of uh, what an attempted coup would look like. Um, but we have yet to see how this will unfold and whether it will uh, solidify into a permanent coup. It certainly looks that way, uh, given the very tepid uh, response of the international community, uh, which is certainly not uh, strongly condemning uh, the president's moves as they should be. Right. And why do you think they're not as strongly condemning the president moves? Well, I think that uh, the international community, and I would mention specifically a certain democratic governments uh, who claim to support democracy, typically in these situations take a wait-and-see approach uh, to see what's going to happen uh, and to really just back uh, uh, whatever uh, strongman leader emerges. Uh, I think they're waiting to see uh, what's going to happen. And, uh, for example, the uh, Biden administration put out a very weak statement uh, reaffirming its support for democracy and stressing uh, their concern about some of the measures that the president has taken, like uh, closing down parliament, um, but sending none of the much stronger signals, uh, for example, uh, reminding uh, the Tunisian president that all U.S. aid uh, must be suspended under U.S law if there's a coup in the country. Um, uh, uh, it's, uh, uh, it's not a situation where any foreign government wants to uh, intervene, and I mean the ones that are not already intervening. All right, Sarah Leah Whitson, thank you very much for talking to us here on TRT World.